Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another video. In today's episode we have to dive straight into the content because Bitcoin had some very bullish price movements here in the last couple of hours. As you can see, finally we managed to break above the 20 moving average in the 4 hour time frame and this is what we wanted to see and also needed in order to go also back into an uptrend here in the lower time frames. In the bigger time frames like the daily or the weekly, we never came into a downtrend. Only here short term we were in a downtrend and it looks like that right now we are gearing up to see big moves to the upside pretty soon since also the lower time frames now are switching back to bullish. So not only we are now trading above the 20 moving average in the 4 hour time frame but also we took out this resistance that we had here initially from this top that we had of $62,000 so we can delete this uh, resistance trend line and now you can see that it looks like that after getting rejected here at our previous support which now is our new resistance here of $59,600 we are seeing a little rejection and I think it is very likely that we are coming back down here first to retest here this $57,000 as a new support and then gear up here to finally break this last resistance that we have here from this old ascending broadening wedge that we had here. So once this is broken my friends I think we can head towards our next bullish targets which are here approximately at around $70,000. So you definitely want to trade this if you're trading here on a Bybit or Femex because here you can really do some life-changing gains. And why I believe that we might could see here a little pullback down to retest $57,000 is because we so far didn't test now the 20 moving average as a new support here in the 4 hour time frame and also not here the 9 moving average at around $57,000. And since we are getting here in the three hour time frame, because usually with my indicator we are trading the three hour time frame, it looks like that here we could maybe get a sell signal in the next coming hours, maybe later on today. This also potentially could tell us that we will see here a pullback to retest the new support and then head towards new levels. Because overall we are now looking very bullish. I think we're gonna see some more days, maybe at least some more hours here uh, sideways. Maybe have a little bit of a pullback before then we definitely gear up towards a new all-time highs here for the Bitcoin price. So if you're looking for good long entries, I would definitely target here this $57,000 area. Otherwise, you can already start now to go long because if you were trading with my own indicator, you should have put it already here some longs when we got here the first buy signal and then add more to your position after we got here another higher buy signal here in the three hour time frame. So usually you should be already sitting in a good position. Otherwise, if you still didn't enter into a trade, then wait here for a $57,000 retest and then of course go long. Otherwise, if you're seeing the price moving away here towards the old all-time high here of $62,000, then maybe only open up a long position once we are breaking out here above $62,000 because I still think that the $62,000 could be a very strong resistance and as long as we are not going higher than that uh, we still can go sideways here or maybe even see some pullbacks towards our main support here so the three hour and four hour time frames are looking very bullish my friends we are back in an uptrend although we are trading above the EMA ribbons and uh, of course in the daily time frame we are still above the EMA ribbons we never came below and also we never closed the daily candle below the 20 daily moving average right at the main support here of around $53,000 right now. So you can see that although the 20 daily moving average is rising up a lot here day by day and also we had a daily close above the 9 daily moving average. This is another very bullish confirmation that we are back in our uptrend and also if today we can close with this confirmation above the 9 daily moving average of $58,000 then I'm pretty confident that we will see big moves to the upside my friends and we even get here now a buy signal in the daily time frame so then we should be good to go long if today we can close above here the 9 daily moving average right at $58,000. 
dollar so let's hope that the price can maintain this price level then i think we're good to go long even though we still could go a bit sideways here and of course here the weekly time frame is still looking very bullish with trading above all the important moving averages and i i have to remind you my friends because i think that a lot of people still don't realize how bullish that is that we could get here a very bullish cross in the stochastic rsi in the weekly time frame after being completely oversold here so even though we have the price skyrocketing here the stochastic rsi is back to those levels when we had here these ten thousand dollar resistance and we then had this parabolic rise up towards the price levels that we are in right now and of course also here with this corona dump in march you can also see that every time we had here a bullish cross after being in oversold condition we immediately started a very parabolic rise up and that's why my friends i think we are about to see these very parabolic moves to the upside very very soon and the next target is here to reach these seventy thousand dollar this resistance is coming from the last uh, tops that we had here of $42,000 and $58,000. You can see that if we're going to see here a continuation to the upside, the target would be right now at around $71,000. And of course, if we are able to break this resistance, then we will see the price moonshot towards our targets at around 100K, maybe even higher. But if we're gonna stay within this channel, so within this rising wedge, the target could also be still here, the 75 to $80,000, maybe even go towards 100K. But as long as we are staying within this potential rising wedge here in the daily time frame, there is still the danger that we could break out here to the downside and the target would be down here at around 30 to 34 thousand dollars so make sure that you're ready also for that scenario and we have to keep a very close eye on here what is going on with these next moves to the upside because only if we are able to break this resistance up here then we are out of the woods from this bearish pattern but if we're gonna remain in this rising wedge, I think there is still the danger that maybe here somewhere we're gonna top out towards 70 to 100,000, then have a huge washout, a huge correction back down towards the 20 weekly moving average, which currently is here at $34,000 and then gear up for the next big parabolic move to the upside because don't forget that our bullish targets towards the end of the year are way above 100k my estimations are still that we could reach 200 to 400 thousand dollar by end of this year but there is still a high risk that until then we could see one last big wash out one big sell off before that we gear up to completely new levels but if it happens right now, I don't think so. I still more leaning to the bullish side that here we're gonna for sure test here the $70,000 to $80,000 before maybe we are getting into a dangerous zone. Because don't forget, we have several indicators that suggest that we still will see continuation to the upside and we are still far away from a cycle top. The first indicator is this one, the P-cycle top indicator. Here also you can see that we are still far away from a cycle top. This moving average of course is falling down but we can still go 100x to the upside and we wouldn't touch here this moving average so we're still far away based on this indicator and if we compare it now also to the other one here the bitcoin logarithmic growth curves and zones you can also see that we are not even close to this red zone which currently is here between 77,000 and 102,000 dollar so only if these two indicators are telling us that we are entering into a very hot zone where we could get a huge sell off afterwards and we could see a potential local top at least for now then I think yes we could maybe take some profits just to be sure that if we're gonna see here a huge correction that we are able to buy the dip but otherwise there is really no reason right now to freak out that Bitcoin could have like a major correction or anything uh, like that. And now since we have covered Bitcoin we can also have a look here into the Ethereum price action because uh, Ethereum is still stuck here between these two Fibonacci retracements and uh, that's why I think that Ethereum is very much lagging behind Bitcoin. So if you're a bit too late to trade Bitcoin, if Bitcoin is starting to create new all-time highs and Ethereum is still stuck here, then I think it's not a bad idea 
to accumulate also some ethereum because here we definitely also gonna start to moonshot pretty soon we are also here in an uptrend in the lower time frames in the higher time frames so everything is still looking very bullish for ethereum so even if we see another 1750 dollar retest here this always held us a very strong support take it as a good long and buy opportunity and now let's go over into a more bearish chart here the dxy because the DXY yesterday had this bullish formation here with this ascending triangle. But as you can see, we had here a big, big rejection and we fell off the cliffs here. You can see that right now we are back in a downtrend here in the DXY. We are seeing right now a breather, but uh, you see that we're trading below the EMA ribbon. So most likely we are getting rejected here and we're going to continue to go towards here the 200 moving average here at $91 and then most likely also continue to go way lower. So the DXY is still in this uh, downtrend in the daily time frame. We are still in an uptrend. So it is possible that here we're just going to start to trade sideways or see more actions to the downside uh, before we're going to see any kind of uh, recovery here. But overall, we are still very bearish here for the DXY. We are still in the bear market, still getting rejected from the 200 daily moving average. And seeing the stock market very strong and also the crypto market very strong, even though the DXY had here these dangerous push to the upside towards the 200 daily moving average, this is of course very bullish. And if here we're going to fall again towards the main support that we have currently at $89, uh, this could really fire up the stock market and also the crypto market and that's why I still think that we're gonna see here big continuations to the upside my friends and that's why I make sure that you're able to trade this over on Bybit and Femex. Uh, the funding rates are starting to increase again so that means that most of the people are opening again long positions so make sure that you're not missing this train my friends otherwise just buy and accumulate more Bitcoin if you don't want to trade with leverage and uh, if you need any kind of account like over on binance bybit femex or wherever make sure to use my referral links down below here because with them you get some extra money and extra bonus of course you support also the channel but definitely go and check them out those are all the recommended exchanges that i'm also using and uh, if you still are a no-coiner somehow, make sure that you're buying Bitcoin and altcoins here on Coinbase and Binance. Those two are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using. And if a mobile app is enough for you, then try out uh, SwissBorg because with that you have a very easy app where you can just buy and sell Bitcoins with uh, your fiat very, very fast and easy with very low fees. So definitely check it out. And with your first purchase here, you get up to 100 euro or dollars as a bonus here. So definitely check out SwissBorg. I like it very, very much. And before we're gonna wrap it up, uh, let's have a look also into Nasdaq. I think Nasdaq is still in an uptrend here. Yes, yesterday we had here this bullish close above the 20 daily moving average. We also had here a week below, but as you can see, we are still above this important moving average. And this of course is very bullish and also suggests that we're gonna see continuation uh, to the upside here. So as long as we're trading above the 20 daily moving average and also above the nine daily moving average, the Nasdaq is also looking very bullish and we should expect also here continuation to the upside. All right, my friends, let's wrap it up for now. Don't forget to join this uh, special uh, Femex trading event that is going on starting on the 24th of March. You can join uh, the trading event by clicking the link down below here in the video description. Also, if you want to join our community and where I will be trading, then uh, join this team here. It's a Chinese team. We will be trading over here. And also a big shout out to our great Discord trading chat. If you want to join our trading chat, then make sure to use the official link that you find down below here in the video description. Once you have clicked it, you have to go here to read first because here, once you clicked here on this thumbs up button, you are confirming that you're a human and not a bot. And like this, you have a free access to our Discord trading chat. And if you want to get all the access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then make sure to contact me here with a private message because a small donation is needed to get access to this live stream. All right, my friends. So if you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.